Inside Science TV. Texting, talking, typing, or Skyping. In a world with so many different ways to communicate, some people just can't. If you're not able to, to communicate, to express your needs, it can be very frustrating and maddening. Wake Forest computer science professor Paul Pauka knows firsthand. His son, Victor, has a rare genetic disorder that affects his ability to speak. Victor uses apps developed by his father on mobile devices to enable him to communicate. With a simple touch of a button, he's got a voice. Do you want to read the book, yes or no? Tell me. Yes. You do? But some people with disabilities can't move their arms to use a touch screen. That's why Dr. Pauka has created a hands-free program. It uses a sensor to detect simple head movements. It's able to detect just slight movement with 92% accuracy. The device has a gyroscope that detects the movement of your head and transmits through Bluetooth technology to an Android device 100 times a second. The tablet recognizes the gestures as communication. Right, down. Watch how Dr. Pauka draws the numbers six and seven with just his head. It could make communication possible for millions without a voice. Giving them the ability to, to be able to express that need can immediately reduce frustration. I'm Josh Lebowitz, reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.